back to that dad guy. It's November the 13th, 2023, and that dad guy has evolved. What do I mean by that? Well, this channel, when I first started it, way back when, whether it was uh, the 22 push-up challenge that I did with my children, um, or the videos I started up when my fit, foot was injured a couple years ago, uh, doing uh, reading kids' uh, books that my children liked when they were growing up, or even the infancy of putting my post crossing on when I learned about that hobby. Um, it was all about what I wanted to post, what I wanted to create, what I wanted to put out there. Uh, it's not that way anymore. This community has taken hold and in a positive way, uh, it directs what I put out from week to week. Whether that's the postcards that get sent to me through post crossing or my direct swaps. Uh, it's a mystery what I'll be showing on those Fridays. Saturday, I'm asking you to send me in questions. So the questions you ask me uh, directly show what I'm going to be talking about on that Saturday. I don't know ahead of time. Uh, so you guys are controlling that way too. It's my face, but your voice and your voice changes from country to country, from um, gender to gender and what you want to talk about. I get mystery packages that get sent to me. And as a result, I do a video about them. And uh, there's some great ideas out there that you guys have either been collecting or uh, that you want to talk about. And it really has inspired me as well. Collaborations that I'm doing with other people, um, that also changes what the nature of the video is going to look like. Stamps people send are videos that I talk about. And today's one of those videos. Today is a video that uh, I got an envelope of stamps in it and some information. And I thought, well, yeah, we're going to talk about that today, I guess. So that's what we're going to get into. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you're a subscriber. If you like uh, the content that I do, make sure you subscribe. You like the videos. You leave positive comments. And uh, you share it with other people. So that's what I ask. Today we are talking about an envelope that came from Marsha in British Columbia. We have the nice new winter stamp that's on there there. Never been cancelled. And uh, she sent two things. She sent uh, some photographs paper of some stamps, which I'm going to show you, and a letter that corresponds with them. And then she sent me a little packet of stamps as well, which I'll leave till the end and show you what she uh, graciously gave as well. So today we are talking about the uh, Canada Post Stamp Program. What's the Canada Post Stamp Program? Well, they used to do picture postage. It came out that uh, if you wanted to, you could pay to have an image of uh, your choosing put on a stamp and they would create it for you. For example, I, I have done this a couple times and I've got some examples for you, but my uh, one of the ones that I did for my channel was this one here, uh, that dad guy stamp. Some of you have it. Uh, this is the last one that I have of that run. And so I've kept it for myself and I've just cut out the, the bottom corner of one of the many sheets that was there. So I did do that. Uh, I have a new one and I will show you that one here as well that uh, they announced that the program was coming to an end. And so uh, I went out before it ended and got more. So this is how that dad guy stamp has evolved. Uh, you can see in comparison, the new one has the post crossing logo, has YouTube up here, a subscribe on there and uh, the, the maple leaves rather than the uh, kid look to it. So, I've done that. I've got some of those stamps that I use sparingly because I know I can't get them again and uh, I want to make sure they're out there. We have some other ones too, but I want to go through what she says and uh, the examples that she's given and so you get a chance. So from Marsha's words, her voice is, there are a few photos of some of the picture postage stamps that I have collected. As you may know or may not know, they basically fall into three types. Those that were available at the postal outlets, so ones you could just go buy from the counter. Those that you could have personalized, like the That Dad Guy stamps I just showed you. And those that were created by Canada Post and sold through mail order or online. So page one, and I will show you the page that she's talking about. We'll throw it up here. It says, page one shows a booklet pane from 2000, which back then you applied the stickers manually. Those, these ones right here. So they ha kind of have picture frames around it, and you put the stickers in manually. Um, so 
I already lost my place here. <laughs> if you ordered photos, they came in a sheet of 25 along with 25 return address labels. You applied the photo stickers by hand, shown on the right. These are the three stamps from that time. Below on the left is the personalized one from the stamp dealers. I used to deal with a, uh, yeah, the, a, a stamp dealer she used to deal with, and these are the designs. So we've got some here. And uh, that one was her favorite. The stamp on the right is a Canada Post issued for the Canada Post workers. This one right down here. Can you see it? Oh, let me put it back up. <laughs> Bring it in closer. Here are the three designs before. And the Canada Post one here. So it was uh, given to Canada Post workers during COVID in 2020, not sold to the public. And I'm going to take a quick break from that to show you how we got them. Because I'm a Canada Post worker. So they came in a little booklet like this, a little box. And then inside the box, we were given a uh, thank you note from the corporation for working during COVID. We also received a pin. You can see there, a nice pin that came along. And then inside, we were given this thank you booklet with the stamps. So we got 12 stamps. I've kept them in the booklet. I've kept everything actually together as it was given to me. Um, and so it was kind of nice. Only Canada Post employees got these. So if you see that stamp right there in an envelope, it has come from someone most likely that works for Canada Post and they've decided to use it and mail it off. All right, so, and then uh, there's the other example of a stamp that you could get put a picture on it. All right. Then she says, page two shows a special promotion with Nestle and Canada Post. So these boxes of chocolates here uh, were available at selected postal outlets. You affix the post picture postage stamp and they could be mailed only in Canada. This came out in November 2012. You can see the Mr. Turtle guy there from Turtles Chocolates in a picture postage on a box of chocolates. And then page three throw, is the ones that Canada Post issued and sold to collectors online. Here we go. So these are different events. Uh, mail order or selected postal outlets back in 2011. You can see the Winnipeg Jets there too on the bottom. And different holidays. Zoom that in there. And then uh, two blank stamps at the bottom which are these two here, uh, were offered to passengers on the Canada Alaska cruise ships. The passengers could have their photos printed on them. And that was in July of 2003. So there's picture postage, the cruise to Alaska ones here, and then all the specialty ones that you could order online. So thank you so much, Marsha, for all that information for people that haven't seen picture postage before. I've shown you uh, the examples of the ones that I've created recently. And here are the stamps that actually they put on, also picture postage that came from Canada Post. And they did it again here, the special fall ones. This one was a little bit, still even more special to me that we have it, but uh, we ordered these stamps for my parents when they were celebrating one of their wedding anniversaries. So we had their picture from their wedding when they were cutting the cake, my father and my mother, and the stamps that went along with it that we had created. So even back then, I don't know if there's a date on this or not. I don't believe there is. But uh, yeah, 2007 is when we had those ones created. So that's very early on in the uh, picture postage opportunities of uh, creating it. There's a nice big cancellation they put on the picture postage that they mailed to me. And then we put them out for all their guests to see. Um, but that's the only sheet we ever created because of the price of it. And uh, my father never used them for anything else. So they've stayed nice and mint on that, that uh, souvenir sheet. So picture postage really was a wonderful program. I wish they would bring it back. Um, it is worth the extra expense to have those memories to be able to create a stamp either with an image of uh, yourself or someone else you like. It, it, 
It was great if you were doing a baby announcement, you had a birth of uh, your child, you could put that new image on there, or maybe you were putting your sonogram on there when you were expecting a child. You could do a stamp that way for anniversaries, for weddings, um, just for special memories. And for goofballs like me that uh, have a YouTube channel and want to create a stamp for it, we used it as well. So if Canada Post, if you are watching, and, and you probably are, um, yeah, you should bring the program back. It was fantastic, and so many people have loved it. And uh, we've got collectors like Marsha out there that collect all the different personalized stamps that they can find. So, yeah, bring it back, please. All right, the last thing I want to show you in this video are some stamps that Marsha sent me in a separate envelope. They didn't have to do with picture postage, but they do have to do with something that um, I talked about before. I talked about government overprints. See the G on these? So we talked about uh, when they were a uh, perforated uh, word put in the stamp, and then they went to just the G, the government overlaid. These are stamps that the government offices used, and uh, only government offices could use them. And the G was to help people to stop stealing stamps and use them for personal use. She sent me a few that she had in her collection, which I really appreciated because I didn't have a lot of them in my father's collection. There's oh, bring that out so you can see them all. And then this one down here. You can clearly see the G in the middle of all these. So that's wonderful to add those to the collection. So thank you, Marcia from British Columbia, for letting me be the face to your voice in this particular episode. Um, I don't know what's going to happen next, which video I'm going to do. There is a stamp that got issued by Canada Post for Diwali, and um, it came out last Thursday. It hasn't arrived in any of the postal outlets that I've been to, including the corporate one here in Moncton yet, so I haven't had a chance to present it to you. I know if you go online, you're going to be able to see it. Uh, I do want to talk about it. I will check again tomorrow with my corporate outlet. I checked today at some of the uh, other ones. Uh, corporate one isn't open today because it's a holiday for us. But uh, in places like Shoppers Drug Mart and Junka 2, uh, different pharmacies that have postal counters, they are open today, but they didn't have the stamp. So I will check tomorrow to see if I had it and uh, hopefully get a video on that. And then there's only one more issued stamp to come out um, uh, in this month, which will be the last for the year, and that's the Hanukkah stamp. So when that comes out, I'll show you that one too. We are almost nearing an end to uh, postage stamps uh, being issued by Canada Post in 2023. It's gone by quickly. So in December, I'll show you the year-end album of everything when it comes out and uh, probably the first day cover ones because I get those each year for my father and uh, we'll look at those as they arrive. So hopefully the new stamp will come out tomorrow or be available for us here in Moncton tomorrow and uh, I can show it to you and we can talk a little bit about Canada Post and Diwali. All right, for now you guys, have a magical week. Like follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?